Hi guys, welcome back. Dan here from Design Mountain, bringing you all things design. This week we're going to take a look at plastic parts in SOLIDWORKS. I'm going to show you how to design the part that we looked at in the reverse engineering video last week. Let's jump in, take a look. So I'm going to start by showing the split tool. This is an extremely powerful tool that can be used to split one body into multiples. As you can see there, I selected the top plane and split the body. Now I'm saving it off into a new part. This is the body into a new part. And as you see here, it has um, a relation to the parent body where it came from, as I'm showing there. And the status is in context, so this means that there's an option to break it there. But this means that if you change the geometry in the parent body here, like I'm showing, the change will pull through and go into the child body. So it's extremely um, cool. Here I'm going to show the part to uniform 1.5 thickness using the shell. And I'm just going to use 0.5 uh, fillets to get rid of any sharps internally. Putting a reference plane in here of 14.5 mil. And putting um, bosses in. It's worth noting you can use the fastening feature mounting boss, but I like to do it manually. Sometimes it's just quicker. So just to mention in these bosses up now to get them fully defined. Then we're going to explore the power of the extrude feature in a minute. Um, there's lots of terminations you can use. We're going to go up to body and we're going to use draft. Coming in on that top plane and going to put the holes in. And I'm going to use the contours here because the up to surface termination, um, the surface is different for each hole. So I'm going to use the same sketch and select the contour and select the different surface, um, as you can see, to create the correct termination to maintain the uniform wall thickness. Coming in on the the side plane now. I'm going to draw some ribs up. It's worth noting you can use the rib tool. Um, personally, again, I like to do it manually. The rib tool is uh, a bit temperamental to say the least. So, just fully defining the sketch here. And note how I'm offsetting. I use the intersection curve to give me the line of the boss and the wall section and I offset my sketch entity to make sure that um, the rib is terminating correctly into the boss and then I just use the um, circular pattern there to pattern four numbers Use the intersection curve tool here again. I created a reference plane and I'm basically just drawing the ribs of the rib profile. So I think. Again, just offsetting the intersection curve sketch to get the correct termination. I'm going to switch them to construction geometry. I'm going to use the mid plane extrude boss. And um, I'm going to have to come in and do some draft in a minute. So uh, we're just going to do a couple more bosses. Uh, ribs on this um, screw boss 
and I think I start by drawing both ribs here but then sort of realize I can just do one and mirror it just drawing the profile here for the ribs and I'm making the original intersection curves for construction So you're going to use mid plane 1.5 um, and at this point I realized the ribs are too thick so the ribs are two thirds the thickness of the overall wall section so the ribs are one mil um, instead of 1.5 so I'm just changing them back to one there we go and just going to mirror that rib over uh, I think I'm going to extend the height a bit first. Yeah, just going to make it taller. Oh, I'm not mirroring it, I'm circular pad. There we go. And now we're going to have a look at some draft for the parts. So the screw boss is already drafted because we did that on the extrude. But the ribs, we're going to use the parting line draft feature. Really nice tool. So you select the direction of pull, which is um, as we're looking down at the part in this example. And then we're selecting the parting line. So this is the bottom edge where the draft um, where the geometry is going to start to draft and we're using one degree on here just coming up to the top view and checking it, it all looks okay yeah it looks good and now I'm just going to put some fillets in don't want that because we're going to do the top edge so we're going to put the tangency fillets in first and that will enable us to put fillets around the bottom and it'll pull the tangency so it'll fill it all in. So finish up with the fillets, that's it for this week guys. This is um, pretty quickly how to uh, go about modeling the part that we reverse engineered last week. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, see you next week.